to people's bodies with his and a gun to their heads. Now at 530, investigators across Northeast Ohio team up to track down a suspect wanted in connection with a string of violent armed robberies. Tonight, a 32-year-old Euclid man with a lengthy criminal record back behind bars. And as News 5's Mike Brookbank tells us, those he's accused of holding up at gunpoint are relieved he's finally off the streets. Police tell me David Johnson's reign of terror started at this BP station in Geauga County and that it lasted for several days, spanning three counties. We're being robbed. Let's get the hell out of the window. This gas station employee, who didn't want to be identified, says she watched in horror as a masked gunman grabbed a co-worker and customer. Snatched him up like a child and pulled him in and threw him face down on the counter. She and two other employees were able to hide in the bathroom and cooler. Pure adrenaline and get out of the way. Don't let him see us. In the days following their scare, employees here watched helplessly as similar robberies started happening at other gas stations and Dollar General stores nearby. I just knew there was enough law enforcement on this that he was not going to get away with it. Wednesday night, police from Cuyahoga, Geauga and Lake Counties, along with the FBI, arrested David Johnson. Police tell us the mask, gloves and stolen SUV Johnson used in each robbery quickly helped tie him to the crimes. This is how we get these bad guys off the street as a cooperation. The Geauga County Sheriff says the 32 year old has an extensive criminal history and previously served 10 years in prison for involuntary manslaughter connected with an armed robbery. There was growing concern in the days leading up to Johnson's arrest because police say he was becoming increasingly violent. He was grabbing individuals, taking them, uh, kidnapping them, throwing them around in the store against counters, out to vehicles, and you saw in subsequent footage that he was doing the same thing in other aggravated robberies that he was doing. Employees at this BP station tell me they're grateful their few minutes of danger ended without anyone getting hurt. He was looking back here to see if we were in the window. That's what gave me chills. Right now, Johnson is charged with two counts of aggravated robbery, but police expect there to be more charges as their investigation continues. Reporting in Geauga County tonight, Mike Brookbank, News 5.